This is an easy GMAT data sufficiency question. Classify the question as a GMAT 600 to 650 level data sufficiency question in number properties. Concept tested is divisibility. Divisibility by 12 is what we are looking at in this question. Is a positive integer x divisible by 12 is the question. The answer options, the statements will come to them in a while. Circle back to the question. Is the positive integer x divisible by 12 the question? The answer is going to be an yes or a no. Yes, when the number is divisible by 12. If we find that the number is not divisible by 12, then the answer is no. Before we proceed any further, let us get clarity on when the data is sufficient. The data is sufficient when we have a conclusive yes or a conclusive no. What is the test of divisibility for 12? Test of divisibility for 12 is that that number x should be divisible by both 3 and 4. The number should be divisible by 3, the number should be divisible by 4. We should be able to establish both these conditions from the information given in the statements. In that case, the data will be sufficient. Whether we use it in this question or not, let us quickly spend half a minute on what is the test of divisibility for 3. Test of divisibility for 3 is add up the digits of the number. For example, if you have a number 4, 5, 6, add up the digits of this number. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 5 is equal to 6, 15. So, is this 15 divisible by 3? Yes. Therefore, 456 is divisible by 3. What is the test of divisibility by 4? Pick the rightmost two digits. For 456, the rightmost two digits are 5 and 6. Is 56 divisible by 4? Yes, 14 times 4 is 56. So, this number is divisible by 4 as well. So, this 456 incidentally is a number that is divisible by 12. So, this is the test of divisibility for 12, it should be divisible by 3 and by 4. We can establish test of divisibility by 3 and 4 by other means, but this is a very good way of finding out the test of divisibility by 3 and 4. Let us take a look at statement 1 and 1 alone. The number is divisible by 6. I am going to use a counter example to see whether this number will be divisible by 12 or not. Right? Take example 1, number divisible by 6, x could be a 6 itself. Is 6 divisible by 12? The answer is a no. Example 2, x could be at 12. Is 12 divisible by 6? Yes. Is 12 divisible by 12? Yes. So, if a number is divisible by 6, 6 is divisible by 6, 12 is divisible by 6, should the number be divisible by 12? Need not be. It could be divisible as in the case of a 12 or it need not be divisible as in the case of 6. So, we do not have a conclusive answer. We have a counter example. So, statement 1 alone is not sufficient. 1 alone is not sufficient. Let us rule out answer options A and D. Evaluate statement 2 alone, see whether that is going to help us. This x is divisible by 8. Again, I am going to look at a counter example. Start with 8, that is the easiest number to start with. If x is an 8, it is divisible by 8. Is it divisible by 12? The answer is a no. We need to find some multiple of 8 that is divisible by 12. 8 3s are 24, that is a counter example for us. x is equal to a 24. Is it divisible by 8? Yes. Is it divisible by 12? Yes. So, if this number is both divisible by 8 and by 12, the answer is yes. This number is divisible by 8 as mandated by the statement, but is not divisible by 12. So, if a number is divisible by 8, then essentially it may or may not be divisible by 12. So, we have a counter example. Statement 2 alone is also not sufficient. 2 is not sufficient. Let us rule out answer option B. Combine the two statements. Now, let us look at some properties that come along the way. X is divisible by 6. When a number is divisible by 6, what is evident is that the number is divisible by 2 and the number is divisible by 3. That is what we can establish because the test of divisibility for 6 is that it is divisible by 2 and it is divisible by 3. When a number is divisible by 8, obviously the test of divisibility for 8 is the rightmost 3 digits should be divisible by 8. But leaving that aside, we know that if the number is divisible by 8, any multiple of 8 will be a number that will be definitely divisible by 4. Right. Any multiple of 8 is divisible by 4, 16 is divisible by 4, right. 8 is a 2 cube, 4 is a 2 square. So, any multiple of 2 cube will certainly be divisible by 2 square. So, from statement 1, for a number to be divisible by 12, we wanted it to be divisible by 3 and by 4. From statement 1, we get a tick mark for this, it is divisible by 3. From statement 2, we get a check tick mark, we again check the box saying that it is divisible by 4. So, between the two statements, we know that if a number is divisible by 6 and it is divisible by 8, it certainly will be divisible by 12. So, combining the two statements, we can answer the question with a conclusive S. Together, the statements are sufficient. Choice C is the answer to the question.